I still got OHL on the brain, but the Flint United team came in with performances of Michael Bruce and Keenan Coleman, who led the team with 23 points each. Tip-off is won by the Sudbury Five as we are underway. Goes inside, it's taken away by Tyree Key. And Michael Bruce gets into the key, puts it up, it rattles, and good. Michael Bruce, 23 points in game number one, getting the first two of this game. Braylon Rayson still awaiting the jersey with the name. He takes a step back, looking to draw the contact. It doesn't matter. He knocks down the three. Scooping it across to J.D. Miller. He'll hand it off to Harris. Up top, Mosby Jr., the up fake into the key, and it's good. A.J. all day. Dexter Williams Jr. for three. Long rebound and batted out. It went off Lit United, so Sudbury picks it up. And J.D. Miller, the Jimmy. Keenan Coleman hands it off to Tyree Keys. Keys gets right inside and one blows by Braylon Race. And we talked about that back long, two high arcing shot. Williams Jr. with the rebound up ahead. J.D. Miller behind the back somehow keeps it, puts it up. J.D. Miller, how about that? There's Dexter Williams Jr. around the defense, into the key and the finish and the point. And Sudbury being led by Dexter Williams Jr. up top, inside to J.D. Miller, out to A.J. Mosby Jr. 5-4-3. A.J. Mosby, and it is 14-5. Williams Jr. comes off the screen, and those are the turnovers you want to avoid. Cameron Carpenter, though, gets real lucky as he loses the handle on the ball. Throws it over to Keyes, and Keyes uses the screen there from Blake. Michael Bruce spinning into the key, has to step all the way back. Flint has put together an offense in this first quarter. Hollis. The quick step and one, Curtis Hollis. It's to Collier, nine on the shot clock. Tough pass and it's stolen by the five. Hollis has a bounce around him. Settles it down, throws it up. J.D. Miller, Miller High Life coming down with the dunk. A double screen for Braylon Rayson, but they can't get him open. Six on the shot clock, Hollis for three. And Hollis hits as the shot clock winds down. Keenan Coleman looks like his number might be falling off a bit. Shot there from Michael Bruce. Steps in, loses the handle on the ball, and Keenan Coleman comes flying in. Look at that from Curtis Hollis on the contest. Point lead for the Sudbury Five in the second quarter. Jason Hannibal in the game as LeVon Blake on him. Hannibal backs down his man, spins baseline. Nice take there, Jason Hannibal. Big screen, and Dexter Williams Jr. actually knocks down LeVon Blake. That one's going to count for a foul and one. This man over to Hollis, goes baseline. Up, it's blocked. Out to Dexter Williams Jr. for three. Five, four, three. Goes inside. Hollis just able to catch that one. Has Bruce on him with five on the shot clock. Fading away, Curtis Hollis. What a shot. Nice little wait, patience from him. Jason Hannibal battling, but Michael Bruce comes away and he's out and running. Bruce throws it up and the catch and finish. It's a good one from Keith Epps Jr. At halftime on Thursday, Jason Hannibal the throw down. Jason, the left hand, kind 39. So a much better first half from Flint United Coleman in the air. Throws it to Keith Epps Jr. And he's hit another three. Miller. He'll put up a three. Swish. Swish. J.D. Miller. Before it crosses half. Mosby. The screen from Jason Hannibal. Mosby. Cross court. Jeremy Harris all day long. Set up a tent. The bucket. Too strong there and too right for Michael Bruce. Wh Harris now, the shot straight away three from Jeremy Harris.
Dean and Coleman. Michael Bruce, who had 11 points in that first half, make it 13. Mosby, Williams Jr. along the baseline, drops it off. The up and under. Jeremy Harris, the finish. Back in Keith Epps Jr. on the rebound. There's a turnover for the Sudbury Five. Cameron Carpenter is going to finish that one off. A careless play by Sudbury. Six points in that first half from Keyes. It's going to be a blocking foul and one from J.D. Miller. The strength of number 15 of the Sudbury Five. Watch this. Takes the contact, drives through the contact, and the control to finish. Almost into the front row. Is able to recover back, but not in time to contest the shot from A.J. Mosby Jr. A.J. all day from the corner office. And a steal from A.J. Mosby. Braylon Rayson drops it to J.D. Miller. The scoop, the finish. Back out to Coleman. The pass. Careless Blake gets it to the corner, and Keyes will put up a three off a broken play. In quarter number three, Sudbury is one point away from where they were at halftime last game at 79 points, and Braylon Race in. Hollis turns the corner, Curtis Hollis, the two point shot. Raider challenge, they have won nine straight games, the London Lightning. Pass out, Michael Bruce, after the timeout, he hits a three. Went to Harvard, averaged 10 and five in his sophomore and junior year. He's been playing pro basketball since 2012, as LaVon Blake with an answer there. Of four fouls though. One of three players of the eight with four fouls on this team and a tough bucket there by Bruce. 93-67. Shot clock is turned off as the Sudbury Five will go for the last shot in possession of this third quarter. Mosby lulling his man to sleep. Crosses over AJ all day. Ending the third quarter with a bang. United team. Mosby into Evan Harris. Harris takes the contact, hits the bucket, and one. Evan Harris is having a nice night. Keenan Coleman up ahead to Bruce, and Bruce with another three. Behind the back, no look past. Shaver in the corner. And Evan Harris with the rebound, dropped down to Shaver, off the pass. J.D. Miller, beautiful passing play there. And him loses the handle of it, gets it ahead though to Braylon Rayson. Rayson into Miller, out to Notice for three, Dwayne Notice. Rayson off the inbound. And J.D. Miller comes away with his 12th rebound. Racing, why not another? Welcome to theater number three. Here's your ticket. Enjoy the show. Carpenter trying to answer with a three of his own. He does. Has struggled with his shot in this game. Drop down. Jason Hannibal bring down the net. So they score 130. In the first matchup, they score 125 in this matchup. The train horn sounds. It's a good sign in Sudbury. 125-102, the final in this game. It was two games of just handling what you gotta handle and pick up a couple wins to get you going in the standings a little bit more and really start to integrate that man right there, Braylon Racing. Oh,